Do you feel that? If you don't, then your VR game is probably lacking something pretty vital. I'm talking about haptics, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to implement them. If you already know how to implement haptic feedback, well, I do have another section towards the end of this video in which we're going to be adding haptic feedback to our menus, which is not natively in the XR Interaction Toolkit. For those of you who don't know how to do haptic feedback, I'm also going to be covering the basics of that. So let's hop in. Hopping into the project, you can see here I'm using my free VR Unity template that you can use in the description below, or you can follow along in your own. And if there's any discrepancies between your project and mine, well, you might want to check out I'm using the XR Interaction Toolkit 2.5.3. So let's figure this out. So looking around at this scene here, we are going to be covering three different main haptic feedback events. We're going to do the direct interactor. We're going to do the XR ray interactor. And then we're also going to do some scripting. And that's how we're going to get vibrations to work when we're interacting with the menu. Now, in order to get the direct interactor to work, I'm just going to go ahead and expand this out and locate our XR Direct Interactor. So here's this one, and then you can find one on the right controller as well. And I'm just gonna select both of them. We can come down here and we have haptic events, and we can turn these on and off. So when you wanna notify the user that they are near or their hands near an object that they can interact with, that is when you're gonna use on hovered entered. So when we enter this region of where the collider is for the grab interactable, it'll alert this, and then we can send a little haptic message to the controller and we can change the intensity so higher obviously is going to be a stronger vibration and the duration for how long it is in seconds if you want you can also use on hovered exit to let them know that the object's no longer within reach and then we also have on select entered and on select exit so on select entered if you would imagine is when you grab the object and so you'd typically want a higher intensity and a longer duration to really let the user know that, hey, they've grabbed onto something here. And you can do the same here for on select exit if they are dropping the item and you want them to be aware of that. Now, just like the direct interactors, the ray interactors have the exact same events. So these can interact with grabbable or interactable items. And so if we wanted to, we can do, you know, on select entered and exit, all those goodies. It's the same exact thing. And the final thing that we need in order to make these work and trigger these events are some form of interactable. So if you look on the table here, I do have a sword and I have put a grab interactable here. And so whenever we enter this little collision box here, our controller will vibrate. It's that shrimple. Now it's pretty hard to show it here, but when I hover over with the ray, you can see it will vibrate my controller. And then if I go up and grab it or get near it with my direct interactor, it also vibrates. Now that we have the ray interactor and the direct interactor giving us haptic feedback, it is time to move on and make this menu give us haptic feedback. Now I find it kind of funny that Unity doesn't have this built into the XR Interaction Toolkit and we still have to do it ourselves, but hopefully they add it in the future. So I'm to start off by making my ray interactors just interact with UI components. And you can see here, if I look at my menu, all it is is a canvas and world space. We have an image for the background and I have a simple little button here. Now, what I want to happen is I want to hover over the button and have it vibrate a little bit so the user knows that they can interact with it. And then if we select it, I want to have a harder vibration there. Now, one approach that we could do is we could put some form of simple interactable, grab interactable, whatever you want on the menu or the button itself, and then adding a box collider to it. And then you could have it hover and do that. But I am going to do it through a script because I find it to be a little more elegant. And I also want just to show you guys how to do haptic feedback through scripting. So let us get scripting. So I've already created this. I've called it XRUI Haptic Feedback. And you can see here, it already has all the events that we're expecting. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to true. I want it to vibrate. And then just a small duration. Ooh, that's too long. There we go. And then I also want on select entered. And I want that to be a little more than the hover. Now let's open up the script and see what we're working with. So here is the code. And if you want, you can follow along. If you'd like to just download it, you can find it on my Patreon, which is in the description below. Starting off, you can see here we're importing quite a bit. So the objective is we need to figure out when a controller is interacting with the UI components in the canvas and which one has selected or hovered. Now we start off here by making a public class here and saying system.serial 
serializable so we can expose this in the editor and you'll see all these public classes that we have here so all we're really doing is you know either it's active or not that's the bool there and then we are storing the intensity or duration for each one of these settings so this is going to be on hover entered exit and then select enter and exit and if you see in the editor it's the same thing here that's it now up here you'll see that we're inheriting a bunch of things these are different interfaces that we are going to build out so what they do is usually it's part of the event system and in the event system these are the things that handle for when like the mouse enters or exits and i figured well that's pretty much the same thing as hover enter and exit so let's use it and you can see we implement on pointer enter here and so that handles that and so you can see here what i've essentially done is we've taken the on pointer entered and turned it into the on hover entered so if it's active if the bool is active for that then we're gonna trigger the haptic function and i'm gonna explain that in a moment but yeah i'm just doing the same thing for all of these now in order to figure out who is interacting with our ui components we're going to have to find the xr ui input module this is going to be the guy that's responsible for figuring out which controller is hovered or selected now in order to retrieve that we need to go into the event system find the current active event system and then we need to find the current input module that we're using and then we finally typecast it as the xrui input module so with all our pieces in place we can look at this when we trigger the haptic we pass the event data and then on hover enter which is just going to be the settings from before so if we come down to the trigger haptic we can go through this code so first things first is we grab the interactor that caused all this commotion whoever just hovered or clicked and we do that by going to the input module that we grabbed earlier and then we get the interactor by looking at the event data and looking at its pointer id and then we also typecast this as a xr ray interactor now just in case nothing is there if it's null we just return and get out of the function otherwise we come in here and we go to interactor.xrcontroller.sendhaptic impulse and we simply give it an intensity and a duration so if you're ever calling the haptic impulse you just got to find the interactor or the controller associated or the controllers that you want to vibrate and you just call on the send haptic impulse function and yeah that is it that's shrimple so now when i boot up the scene and i move around and hover on it my controller vibrates and then the other one vibrates and then if i select it it vibrates some more so it worked to my patrons without you i can't do this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.